Every morning, six days a week, this is Boris Akimov's routine. The way he teaches ballet, you wouldn't guess his age. He's 71. Akimov lives and breathes ballet, and the Bolshoi will always remain his lifeblood. He's best known for his role in this 1968 production, Spartacus, where he played a Roman commander. It was the most famous ballet of the Soviet Union era. Akimov will never let go of the memories. You open a program, and there's a whole history here, the performers, the production, the posters, the programs. It's one unified thing, and without it, there's no theater. Millions upon millions of dollars have been spent on restoring the Bolshoi theater with intricate details from its past. But while the fabric of history may be able to be reconveyed, it's much harder to access the memories from past productions. And so the Bolshoi commissioned a project using the latest text and image recognition technology, a vast number of programs and posters were the main sources for a digital history going back to 1824. Detailed information, pictures and stories will be searchable online. It's an amazing and beautiful project because people involved to open Bolshoi's theater history and Abbe with artificial intelligence helps them to reach this goal. Research volunteers have been correcting any mistakes. For me, the most interesting part was checking the old posters, particularly before the revolution. They're very beautiful. It's like a time machine. The wars, the revolutions, but the Bolshoi theater is still standing. Opera is sung, ballet is danced, life goes on. And Boris Akimov agrees with that. Teaching, dancing, choreographing and directing, he's done it all. And now he gets digital space in history, along with many others. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera, Moscow.